Well, good morning. Uh, Jordan and I are getting ready to get this Wednesday started. I uh, want to thank you for coming along and, uh, you know, just to say again kind of about my channel, what my channel is going to be about is, um, you know, I used to be in the lawn care, lawn care business. I enjoy the lawn care business and doing the things like that, uh, but I don't do that anymore. On that scale, uh, I have about 16, 17 properties and uh you know i mow all them and uh that's why i trim all the shrubs i do all the outside work is i want my places first of all to be really nice look nice and be kept up good like that and uh, the other thing is i just enjoy it when uh, i get on that lawnmower like i've been working on houses all week and then the day that we're going to go mow and i get on that mower you know i just i really enjoy that it's just uh it's relaxing to me to do that it gives me a break from the other stuff but in saying that, my channel is going to be about, you know, just being a property owner, owning rental property and going out and working on it, the things that we do um, and such as that. And then when we're in the summertime and stuff, it'll have the mowing incorporated in there. The uh, hardware store here in town, they texted me this morning and said uh, a range hood had come in for a rental house. So we're going to go by and pick that range hood up. We're going to put that on. Wednesdays are a little bit lighter days for me because... Uh, I drive the church bus on Wednesday night so anyway we don't work too long on Wednesdays but uh, we got a few things to do today so uh, you know I he and I just uh, we really appreciate it if you come along with us uh, keeps us company kind of gives a little more uh, it, you know I'd say I guess excitement into the day you know when uh, we're videoing and uh, we're conscious of uh, you viewing and trying to video stuff that maybe you'll find interesting or enjoy watching so uh, we're headed down to the hardware store, so y'all just come along and go with us and spend a little, little time with us. All right, what we got is, uh, like I said earlier, we went to the hardware store and we picked up the, uh, the hood for the range, and it already had one up there. But um, we've taken it down, I put in a new stove and a new refrigerator, and so uh, I wanted to put in a new hood. So that's what we're going to do. We've got to put up uh, smoke detectors, and uh, so that's what we've got to do at the house because this is the one you've been seeing on the uh, videos here lately that we were getting ready, and a guy rented it, and so they're going to start moving in this weekend. And uh, another thing I want to say, you know, if anybody watches this, that you're thinking about, um, you know, getting into the rental business or whatever. Um, when I first started getting into it, I had a little bit of trouble with it because you run, uh, you run into things with it. And I'm not going to go into details on it. But, um, you know, but as I've been in it longer, I've learned how to uh, kind of call out the ones I don't want and I have all good tenants I don't have I have very little problems um, with people with tenants because um, I just have a good understanding with them when I rent the pl places to them and uh, then I've got a year's lease also that you know we go through and um, but when I first started in it I had some trouble um, things did happen uh, one of my first properties I bought um, you know I was just learning I didn't have good renters um, they messed the place up and then they wanted their deposit back and I was like, it don't work that way. Well, they thought they would take my appliances with them when they moved out. And so they did. And I had the serial numbers on them. And then uh, I also make copies of the driver's license of the people that I rent to. And so I just turned that over to the police. And in a couple of days, I had my appliances back. And, you know, it, it kind of started out that way. And I thought, oh my gosh. But uh, there is times you have to go out at midnight. Things may happen. Uh, it's just part of it. But, um, you know, they're good investments. And so anyway, if you're thinking about getting into the rental property, it is a mindset. You have to get into the right mindset to be able to do this. And, um, you know, in the rental business, in the way that I started looking at it is like this, that God has blessed me with everything that I've got. And if people do something to me, then, you know, they, they, can't, they, they can't hurt me. 
because it's a win-win situation for me. I own the properties, I own the houses, and you know, people that do that kind of stuff beat you out of money, uh, they tear up things. Their life is gonna be like that all the time. They're gonna run from problem to problem to problem. And um, you know, there's things like that that's gonna happen, and it's gotta be a mindset that, you know, I'm a winner. No matter what they do or anything, I'm a winner because I own the house, the Lord has blessed me with it, uh, I make a good income off of it. And so you just go in, you fix it back up, and you go again. And there are good people out there that are good tenants. And I've got, luckily, I, out of the, uh, I think I've got 17 units and 16 of them are rented. Um, and out of those, I do not have one bad tenant. And uh, all of them are good. And I've got good people. They, they treat me good. I treat them good. And so... You know, I've learned how to how to uh, go through the process of searching for my renters, and it's a process you have to learn. And so, anyway, we're going to put this hood up. I hope I didn't bore you with that speech, but I just was thinking, you know, there may be people that are thinking about getting into this, and um, you know, it, it, it's it's a good investment. So we'll, let's put this um, this range up right here, this hood for the range. So we're going to um, I'm going to find out which one of these is hot. And uh, we're going to turn the power off. This is a neat little deal right here. Um, this is a good way to find out your power. If it's on or not, you can just take this and uh, hold it up there to it. And it'll show you that that's hot when that red flashes right there. We're going to see when, um, when, these light, when this light goes from red to green. So I'm going to kill the switches as he holds it there this one should be the hot one yeah and so see you don't even time. have to have the naked wire you can just hold it right up to the wire so that's a neat little tool oh, good. i knew it was this one because when i was taking it down it shocked me a little there it goes there it is all right we got it so now we can put the hood in. I won't do an unboxing on a range hood. I will show you one thing about it though. But there's there's two kinds of these if you go to buy one. And it depends on what you've got. And um, this one is a ventless one that doesn't have the vent in it. And you can see that they've got the spot there that it, that it would be, but it's closed up. So it uh, sucks in the air here, and it's going to blow it out the front right here. And, uh, you know, they make them that has a hole in it right here. And then it would vent up into your cabinet here, and then either go up into the ceiling or go into the wall and vent out that way. But this is a ventless operation deal right here with no vents in it. So I had to get the ventless one. So we're going to put this up. Well, we got that up. That's screwed in. And now we're going to wire it up. We got a mess of wires, so let's hook them up. And which it's pretty simple because they're color coded. Uh, green is your ground, if you don't know. Uh, and then white is your neutral, black is your hot. Well, about two seconds of wiring, we've got it wired up. It's blowing air out the, out that, so it's working. Good. And uh, we got the light in. Oh, that's wired we, up. Uh, wanted the code changed in the in the lock. Okay, I got uh, the codes changed on the door. We're gonna take our tools out of here, and put them back in the truck, and this job here is wrapped up.